Learning to play an instrument is fun and exciting. In this lesson, we're gonna teach you about your instrument case. Don't laugh, <laughs> it's important. The case allows us to take our instrument safely to school and back. Most cases have a top and a bottom. The larger part is the bottom and should be placed on a solid surface like a floor or a desk. Never open your instrument on a music stand. The hinges on your case should be facing away from you. The latches open and the smaller parts open to display the instrument. Never open your case while traveling to and from school, especially if you're on a bus. These instruments, they're not toys, they're musical instruments. Don't let your friends hold and play with your instrument. They could damage it and repairing it could be expensive. Your case is designed to open a specific way. I'm standing on the back side so you can see, but typically you'd be standing on your side. So now we've opened your trombone case, let's take a moment to talk about the three main parts that you're gonna find inside. The first is what we call the bell section or the business end of things, so to speak. Next is our slide section, which only fits into your case one direction. The first time you open your case, pay close attention to how it fits inside of your case because if you try and put it back the wrong way, it won't fit. Finally, we have our mouthpiece. This is the part that you buzz into to create beautiful sounds for your trombone. So now a little bit more about the bell section. You'll see when I take it out of the case, it has a few different key parts. The big end where the sound comes out of is naturally called the bell. At the far end of it, you're gonna see that there's this portion that moves. We call that the tuning slide. Finally, there's a section that spins. More on that in the assembly video. Next, we have our slide section. On our slide, there are a few important parts. We'll start at the tip. There's a rubber tip to keep your trombone protected from the floor. Always make sure when you take your trombone slide out of the case that you set it down so the rubber tip is on a solid surface so that it can't fall over. Next, you have a trombone slide lock. On one side, there's a portion that twists to lock the slide in place and not allow it to fall out. You'll see here, when I unlock it, the slide can easily move out. And I like to tell my students when they're in class that this is one of the most fragile things in the band room. If I were to take this all the way off, which you shouldn't right now, you'll see that the metal inside this slide is very thin and brass is not a very hard metal as well. It's very soft and it can be dented easily. If this trombone slide gets dented, then it won't move freely and it won't let you play trombone too easily. Always, when you're handling the slide and assembling your instrument, make sure that your slide lock is locked and your slide can't fall out on accident. You'll also notice that on your trombone slide, there's a short side and a tall side, as I like to call it. One probably looks pretty and one does it very polished up. More on that in the assembly video as well. Finally, on the tip of our slide, we have our water key. Ew, that's the part where the spit comes out. Well, if actually if you're playing it right, there's not much spit in there, but there is a lot of condensation that happens inside of your trombone once you learn to play it. So in review, we have the tip, goes on the floor, our water key where condensation comes out, our slide lock, a short side and a tall side. Remember when I told you at the beginning, your trombone slide only fits back into its case in one direction. Typically, your water key is facing up. If I try and force it into the case, it won't fit. This can damage your instrument. So be very careful and pay close attention when you're putting your trombone slide back in its case. As a general rule with all things in band, if you're working really hard to squeeze a part into your case, it's probably not the right direction. Try something different. Thanks for joining us today and learning about your case and all the parts that come inside. Join us next time as we learn how to put your instrument together and assemble it safely. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you next time. T-Bones.